I got my honed blade, though. Very cool. One of the things in this game that is also very cool is they have an achievement system in the game called Deeds. And while we'll do a, a lot more in-depth in Deeds, possibly on one of my higher-level characters to show you exactly how it works, the idea is there are achievements in the game for completing specific tasks, whether it be finding a specific area or killing 500 goblins or killing 1,000 goblins. But some of these give you titles. And of course, titles are cool, uh, displayed after your name. Um, and you can collect them. But some of them gives you virtues, and some of them give you items, and there's all, all kinds of stuff you can get from these deeds. Um, it's the, one of the first games I've seen where the achievements mean something. It's not just a number score on how cool you are. Um, they actually give you things. Um, we'll go over the virtue system in a later episode, but the virtue system is one of the things that benefits from that. You gain virtues which are like buffs for your character and you can actually modify your character even deeper using those um very very interesting system they have and very deep uh really gets you out into the world trying new things and uh always leaves you something to do you're you're never really bored in this game there's a lot to do with your character um but we'll definitely go more into depth than that and we'll show you that whole system what have i done i don't know what have you done you cannot fathom just how wrong I have been. No, I'm pretty sure I know how wrong you've been, Brackenbrook. Okay, we gotta ask Strider what to do after I put on my new pants. Pants? Oh, wow, those are... They look like sweatpants. Don't... Hikaram, you're the gray. Yeah, no doubt. Do not despair. Do not despair. You have done well. Okay, so we're gonna go. I wasn't despairing. I was a little bit. This will do oh, okay. nicely. It gives me something to munch on for a bit, at least. Okay, so I received a title. Um, so the, one of the cool things about the game is this notification system on the right. So what this is is anytime something happens, uh, something that you might not have noticed, it's gonna pop an icon up over here. If I click on it, it's gonna bring you up. So what I actually got is I actually got Hikaramir the the wary. So the, the, the wary is it. And it's because I reached level 5 without being killed. I didn't die. Um, it's So I basically unlocked an achievement, a deed, and I got this for it. So I'm going to make that active. So I am now known as Hikaramir the wary, and he took the the one from his homeland, so he is Dark Relic Mirror of Gondor. Uh, this specific one is just telling us that you can actually... There's multiple instances of this area. So if you don't see your friend, he's probably in another instance, and you can switch. Lovely. This is sure to cheer on to your right up. Mm, fried mushrooms. Tasty. Okay. So we leveled up to five, so I'm going to go see what he's got for me. Good looks like she had a uh, follow-up quest, too. Oh, she did? Well, it looks like five does not have anything for me. I will go back, because I... Walked away from the follow-up quest. Oh, she did. This tea will help Am Deer feel better. I just know it. Give Am Deer some tea, huh? Oh, vitality ring. I thank you, but I have not the stomach to drink this now. Oh, lost me to lie. Did oh, my yeah. tea hook him up? I oh, totally. It, it was good tea. I can either have might or vitality. I want to stick with vitality. And then my I have a ring already that gives me plus three agility that was part of the collector's edition. Now, where do you go? Um, do you just go to any uh, any merchant to uh, to sell things? or? Yeah. Yeah, if you... Where is that merchant? If you come over here... With me? Yeah. If you come back here, there's a grocer or a provisioner. I don't remember exactly. Oh yeah, I saw that provisioner earlier. There we go. So you just right-click, brings you into the shop, and there's a sell category. Oh, hey, look at that. Um, one of the cool things is if there's something in your inventory you do not want to sell, you can like if you have a bunch of stuff in your inventory. What I suggest is going and locking what you don't want to sell. So I don't want to sell my potions. I don't want to sell. I always like to keep my cloaks. I like them. So some things aren't going to show up because they can't be sold. They're no drop. 
Okay, so the rest of this stuff, I don't mind. Oh, I'll keep the mushrooms. So sell all. It sells everything. Everything not locked. These will stay locked also. So if you don't show locked, it'll only show stuff that's not locked. So if you're carrying, like, stacks of copper and stuff like that, you want to lock those so you don't accidentally sell them. And if you do accidentally sell them, there is a buyback option. Um, gear in this game does have durability. It does take damage. So you do want to repair when you're at someone that can repair. It's always good to keep your gear up to, up to good standards, because if you don't, it could break in the middle of battle, and nothing's worse than losing a, a chess piece or something in the middle of a battle. It's amusing about that particular one. You know, whenever uh, I find my my swords uh, dinged and my uh, my armor getting a little loose and torn and uh, you know some stab holes in it, I find going to the cook is the best option for my repair. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That provisioner looked like she was pretty handy. She knows her way around a whetstone. <laughs> I'm gonna stop baking this bread. And I'm going to go over and I'm going to fix your armor. Okay. <laughs> Pulls out a giant hammer, puts down her spoon. And the apron works either way, so that, that's that's perfect. There you go. Might be a little bit thicker than you need for cooking, but whatever works. Well, it's for grease splatters, you know. You don't have to worry about that, you know, ever then. That's true. Okay, so now we're heading to the Exiled Hunter to come to the city's aid there. And as you can see on the map, it's out of the hunting lodge. Now, I've noticed as I'm running here that uh, I'm, I'm occasionally starting to sparkle. <laughs> Is that uh, an effect of, of uh, fervor, do you think? Or you know, my yeah, ability? It's, it's probably your clicky. Either that or the game knows something about you that you didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> that you're a vampire? No, I'm just kidding. Vampires I don't sparkle. Sparkle! <laughs> okay, so here's the hunting lodge. Okay, and you open the door and it gives you a portal like before. Here we go. Oh, John Brackenbrook. I Look presume you're here to bring to. me ill news from town. Oh, I didn't select it. Select the medium armor. Calder Carb has shown his true colors at last. Oh, shoulder pads. Cool. Okay, so we got to defeat brigands and gather information about the intended raid. And we are going to get a hat. And let me tell you, these hats are glorious. I'm always tempted, even if I wear medium armor, to get the plumed hat. Oh, and it gives, uh, th there's multiple quests from him. He has another quest. I am really good at walking away. Oh, he doesn't have another quest. Oh, it's um, probably because my is, uh, I have a free account and uh, you have a paid. Um, it's giving me a quest that's... Uh, I just I accepted the quest and then I click on him again and it uh, finishes the quest giving me 10 turbine points. Oh, uh, yeah, that's cool. Quick way to get some turbine points there. Turbine points is the what you spend in the Lotro store. In all of turbine stores, actually. Hmm. Okay, let's just head... Let's see, where are they? Oh, anywhere down here, apparently. So we'll just head south. Okay. Okay, just gonna head straight south here. Yep. I guess I can pull myself away from Miss Granger here, checking to see if she was uh, related to Hermione at all. <laughs> was she? Uh, sadly, no. There was no magic in her. She said Leviosa differently? It's Leviosa! Leviosa, not Leviosa. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> oh, man. Hey, Dark, uh, your nerd's showing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> It happens sometimes. It's it's hard to contain this much awesome nerdiness. <laughs> I miss with the javelins quite a bit. I won't miss with my boot to your face. Bam! Come here, you hoodlum. Are we 
in the front door. Uh, yeah, we're heading in the front door. Looks like we need to talk to someone right inside. One does not simply walk in through the front door. <laughs> <laughs> we knew that joke was going to happen eventually, right? It had to be done. Okay, let's head. Let's head on here. There we go. Okay, so we just go up here and wait a minute. I have no memory of this place. <laughs> okay, let's see where. Straight ahead. Ooh, I see something sparkling. Oh, yep, it's labeled Blackwold plans. They really hid those well. <laughs> Thank you for your plans that you keep out in the open. <laughs> okay, so it looks like we just gotta head back, yep, back to the lodge. We'll just head back to our cabin for a nice relaxing relaxing snooze. See they were right. One does not simply walk in there. Two simply walk in there. Very true. You got aggro. Nice. Okay, so this is the um, roller pass system. So basically, I can either decide to roll on it, but it's a roll dice against each other, whoever higher wins, or you can just pass if it's something you don't want or can't use. I rolled, and I won. I rolled a 66, he rolled a 20. I roll 20s. <laughs> In the wrong situation. <laughs> Back to the other Brackenbrook, the elusive, mysterious one. This whole intro series should be called The Story of Two Brackenbrooks. A Brackenbrook apart. <laughs> you can never break a Brackenbrook? Good work, my friend. <laughs> I'm gonna get the guard's hat, but I'm telling you that plumed hat is fantastic. Oh, it's it's yeah. the it's the hat that uh, Sean Connery wears in uh, Highlander. <laughs> I believe there is hope for us yet. We only need a strategy. Man, I don't know. If it wasn't for my hooded uh, cloak, I would have got it, but you wouldn't be able to see it. Might as well. It's only a couple oh. armor points. You got it on? Oh, he gave me uh, another quest. Wah! There we go. Suave. That feather is amazing. It is quite. Okay. Oh, looks like uh, this guy over here got one for us. Okay, so now we're going to head right up here on the side of town into spider territory. Oh, I like spiders. Why did it have to be giant spiders? I like the way they skitter and they like the way I skitter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Skittering with the French fried potatoes. French fried spider legs. <laughs> oh, kick the spider. Oh, look at that. I, I looted some small filth off that spider. That's fantastic. Oh, yummy. <laughs> why, why did you assume that was food? <laughs> I got some small goo. Disgusting. He webbed me. That's cool. So we 
did those four, so now we have to get to the back. None of these are aggro, so we don't have to worry about it. Another ward in there. Dead black walled scout. Ew, dead and covered in webbing. My feather tells me that he met his doom at the uh, dead end. Met his doom at the dead end. Wow. I mean, really, he should have known it's the dead end. <laughs> he doesn't get any more final than that. He's got a point. He's right. And you know when he's right, he's right, and he's right. <laughs>